time now to get out your credit card bills and your phone bills, too. Yeah, Seven on Your Side's Michael Finney is determined to save you some money by mm -hmm. looking at something called gray charges, another weird mystery fee. Yeah, 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 these are those strange charges that pop up on your bills. A third of us get them, and it costs those of us that do get them, on average, $215 over the course of a year. So what are they, and just where do they come from? Mystery charges are costing Americans billions of dollars a year. One estimate goes as high as $14 billion. You may have noticed them. Charges for $10 and less on your credit card and cell phone bills. Have you ever figured out what those charges were for? Uh, no, sometimes there's strange descriptors to them. Surcharges or taxes or the city, something like that. And sometimes it'll say, yeah, you know, texting charges, have right. you ever received one of those? Mm -hmm. Yes. What do you do? I just let it go. Often the charges aren't even from the phone companies, but from third parties who pay the phone companies to do the billing. On phone bills, those types of questionable charges are called cramming because they are crammed on the bills. On your credit card, they are called gray charges because they fall in a morally gray area. Um, it's not fraud, but it's certainly not right. Yaron Samid started BillGuard, a free app that keeps track of your bills looking for these types of charges. A common mystery charge is applied when you sign up for something without knowing it. Phantom charges is where you signed up for one thing and they ended up tacking on something else. Um, and you didn't notice that because it was somewhere in the fine print of where you signed up. Another way these charges end up on your bills is through a process called free to pay. Joe Rideout is with Consumer Action. Well, these are generally companies that try to deceive consumers into signing up for paid subscriptions under the guise of them supposedly being free offers. And even when alert consumers find these things and get rid of them, they often come back. The other one I like is the zombie subscription. That's where um, you actually call to say, I want to turn something off. And then several months later, it comes back to life and there it is on your statement again. <laughs> That's financial advisor David Hollander. He's the president of Liberty Group, an Oakland-based financial services company. He saved clients money finding these things. Here's an example. Where they were charging $9.99 for premium messaging uh, without the person actually really wanting it. And it, it was found on the bill and it was taken off and now it doesn't, they don't have to pay for it anymore. But they did pay for it a little bit of time and that was that. Well, how do I, how do I know if it's phone? Is there some place I can go? Great questions. You need to go through your bills line by line. And when there's something you don't recognize, contact the credit card or phone company and ask that the charges be removed. And if it's your phone company, consumer advocate Joe Rideout says, good luck. When it appears on your cell phone bill, it's a real problem because you don't have the same protections that you do when it's on your credit card bill. There's federal protections such as the right to a chargeback you simply do not have when it's on your cell phone bill. For instance, federal law gives you 60 days to catch these charges on your credit card. With a phone bill, the company makes the rules. An easy way to catch these charges is to crowdsource with other consumers through that free app, BillGuard. When someone else is able to spot on their credit card or debit card bill a charge that doesn't look right, they're able to simply flag it in the system and then others who have the same charge will have that um, particular charge prioritized for their review. Okay, now here's the insider trick for your phone bill. Call your mobile provider and tell them you no longer want third-party billing. Done. You don't have to worry about it again. Now, you can never get those kind of charges, but most people don't want them anyway. Now, we spoke to all the phone companies. They say they work hard to keep unauthorized charges off your bill. And if you have a problem, give your provider a call. Mm. Now, this is great information in this oh, report. Thanks. Nice. Very helpful. Thanks, Michael.